Dominguez Nation, it's Friday, and we've got Cookie Monster today for our workout. Now, if you recall, we did this workout back on March 30th, so if you keep track of your workouts, go ahead and take a look back at what your score might have been that week. All right, Cookie Monster, 15 minute AMRAP, starting with 20 alternating single dumbbell power snatch, 40 double unders, 20 burpees, and 40 double unders again. Now, ideally, we're looking to get somewhere between three to five rounds in this workout, which would mean each round would take somewhere between three to five minutes. Modifications for today. If we're using a barbell today, we wanna to load that weight, something relatively light, 95, 65 might be prescribed at the gym. And if we can't do double unders, we can always modify with either 80 single unders or 80 dot hops. Now, if we see those double unders and snatches as something we're gonna to need to break up in the later rounds, we wanna make sure that we start by breaking them up. That's gonna keep us from over fatiguing and be able to move consistently for the full 15 minutes. Have fun, guys. For today's warm up, we're going to complete 30 seconds of each of the following, starting with 30 seconds of dot hops. So here you'll notice Renee has invisible dots, but she is moving her feet both forwards and back, just trying to warm up those calves and those Achilles. Next, we're going to complete 30 seconds of active Spider Man. Here we'll step that front leg forward, foot should be flat on the ground, touching our elbow to the instep and then reaching to the sky. We're going to alternate legs for this full 30 seconds. From there, we'll go into 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Here, we wanna elevate the heart rate just a little, bringing those knees up to those elbows. From there, we'll stay in that plank position, going into 30 seconds of frog hops. Here, the initial part of the burpee, we wanna make sure that we are replacing our hands with our feet, no need to come to full standing. Next, we'll go into 30 seconds of active Samson. So we'll step forward into that lunge position, driving those hips forward, squeezing those glutes, getting a good stretch to those hips and those hip flexors. From there, we're going to inchworm out into our plank position, keeping those legs nice and straight, do a push up, and then walk those hands back into our feet, stretching those hamstrings. Last but not least, we'll complete 30 seconds of nice, slow burpees. So here, we wanna put our hands down to the ground, jump our feet back, come down chest and thighs, and then again, replace those hands coming all the way to standing. At the top of each round, we'll start with 20 alternating single dumbbell snatch. So every rep will switch arms. Now the timing of the pull with the arms is gonna be our focus today. While we can still get the weight up with an early arm bend, it's a lot more efficient and a lot less taxing if we time it right. To get the lower body muscles to effectively pass off to our upper body, we wanna to wait to pull the arms until after we've reached extension with the hips, knees, and ankles. This is gonna give that dumbbell a weightless feeling and make it easier to transition as we press that dumbbell up overhead. Alternating every movement will complete 40 double unders. Now a big misconception with double unders is that they have to be fast. More important than the speed of the rope is good timing. If you notice Renee, she's going to slow down the movement just a little and work on jumping a little bit higher in the air than she would with a single under, keeping her hands nice and close. If we don't have double unders, we can either work on them for 45 seconds or replace with either 80 single unders or 80 dot hops. So just like in the warm up, we're gonna alternate feet forward and back. Each time they complete a round, that will count as one good rep. After that first set of double unders, we'll complete 20 burpees. Now 20 burpees is a larger set, so we want to time and pace our burpees. And we can use an internal counter. So for example, one, drop to the floor, two, step the left leg up, three, step the right leg up, four, jump to finish. The faster we want to go, simply the faster we count. One, two, three, four. Keeping a pace is going to allow us to complete all 20 in a good rhythm rather than burning out in the first 10.